Welcome back. The news in details. President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi inaugurated the second edition of Egypt's Defense Expo edX 2021 on Monday. Addressing the event, President al-Sisi said the huge presence at edX 2021 and the size of the companies taking part in the exhibition reflect its importance. The president greeted participants of the exhibition and praised efforts by the organizers. Meanwhile, the head of state inspected the pavilions of the exhibition, which comprises 21 international pavilions, showcasing the state-of-the-art technologies, equipment and systems. The exhibition, which will run until December 2nd, is held at Egypt International Exhibition Centre and expects it to receive over 30,000 visitors. Minister of Defence General Mohamed Zeki, speaking at the inauguration of the exhibition, said holding edX 2021 proves Egypt's ability to organize such important events at the highest levels of security and stability. He said the defense armament systems are pillars of preserving security and safety of the country. Meanwhile, President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi participated on Monday in the China-Africa Cooperation Forum via video conference with the participation of the Chinese president and a number of African leaders. The forum discussed means of boosting partnership between China and the African countries and fostering coordination and consultation over facing current economic challenges amid the coronavirus outbreak. President al-Sisi stressed on the significance of the forum in enhancing joint cooperation and solidarity to achieve interests and benefits of all sides and to confront the negative repercussions of the pandemic over economic growth rates. The President also asserted the importance of pushing forward joint trade and investment ties to overcome these economic impacts through reducing accumulated debts and supporting small and medium enterprises. President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi held a meeting on Monday with Commander of the Naval Forces, Lieutenant General Ahmed Khalid, and Head of the Armed Forces Engineering Authority, Major General Ihab al-Far, as well as a number of national construction and contracting companies' heads. The meeting followed up ongoing projects of coastal shores protection on the Mediterranean, implemented from Abu Ir area till the west northern, northern west coast, with the cooperation of experts from world universities and firms. In this regard, President Sisi directed to integrate efforts of upgrading the North Coast Shores and Alexandria City within the state's comprehensive strategy to connect the northern west coast with the Red Sea, including Sukhna Axis and El Alamein City. The President also pointed out to the importance of the contracting company studies to localize the production requirements industry relating to their constructive activities, a matter which he said would help in providing foreign currency and job opportunities. Foreign Minister Samah Shukri said the Union for the Mediterranean Forum has achieved sustainability and efficiency for its activities despite challenges posed by the coronavirus. Shokri was speaking at the annual meeting of the foreign ministers of the European Union in Barcelona, Spain. He called for weighing joint work axes to encourage investments and create job opportunities for southern Mediterranean countries. During his speech, Shokri also called on all concerned parties to work intensively to reach a settlement to the Palestinian cause. The forum seeks to push forward cooperation between both sides of the Mediterranean in several fields including the environment, climate change, socio-economic development, job creation and digital transformation. Prior to the Union for the Mediterranean meeting, Foreign Minister Shukri probed joint cooperation with Luxembourg Foreign Minister. The top diplomat also met with his Spanish counterpart and discussed boosting bilateral relations, notably in renewed energy, combating climate change transportation, health and tourism. The two ministers also tackled increasing investments as well as regional issues of mutual interest.
Prime Minister Mustafa Medbouli held a meeting to follow up upgrading the villages that were badly hit by bad weather and heavy rains in the upper Egyptian governorate of Aswan upon the directives of President Abdel Fattah Sisi. During the meeting, Medbouli also ex instructed to speed up delivering equipments needed to start upgrading water projects and sanitary drainage in the affected villages. The Prime Minister also stressed on the importance of finalizing ongoing projects as part of the Decent Life Initiative. In another development, Prime Minister Mustafa Medbouli met with Under Secretary General and Executive Director of the United Nations Entity for Gender Equality and Women Empowerment, Seema Bahus. At the meeting, the Prime Minister hailed cooperation with the UN agency concerning women empowerment at different levels, describing it as distinguished. Medbouli also pointed to the unprecedented support given by President Abdel Fattah Sisi to the Egyptian women, as reflected in constitutional amendments to increase women representation in Parliament and appointing women in top positions in both executive, administrative and judicial authorities. Led by Prime Minister Mustafa Medbouli, the medical group of ministers concerned with coronavirus management approved providing vaccination to young people between 12 to 15 years old with the Pfizer vaccine. Meanwhile, Acting Health Minister Khaled Abdel Ghaffar said the new COVID-19 variant Omicron has not been reported in Egypt so far. He emphasized that a close follow-up of contagious and dangerous strains is undergoing in order to help prevent any virus outbreaks. A U.S. drug maker announced that Pfizer has already started working on a 